morning everybody this is such an exciting day because i am back in boston woo officially i feel like i've been traveling for so long and i have just missed being home so bad like my cozy little clean boston apartment really does feel like home now and it's funny because i always felt like my home was in Albany, like where I grew up, like my parents' home, like all throughout college and stuff. But after five years of being in Boston, it really does feel like my home. So anyway, all I'm trying to say is I'm so happy I'm home. We have a lot to do today. I feel like after I travel, I always have so much to do. Instead of telling you what I have to do, I'm just gonna bring you along. So let's go. Hi guys, I just want to butt in here really quick to tell you about something that is so important to me and so near and dear to my heart and if you listen to my most recent podcast episode i touched on it a little bit and i'm gonna try not to be too emotional or cry in this but basically long story short i met a very close friend to me and i love you when you're watching this and i met her this spring because you guys know max went to brown and one of his best friend's girlfriend is Ange. So I met her this spring. We were all at Brown together. And you know, when you instantly meet someone and just connect with them, um, that's how it was for me and Ange. We just became close so quick. She just has like the kindest heart and is so much fun. Like she's the girl that's like the life of the party and that everyone wants to be around. And she is just like the kindest soul. So I'm like getting chills talking about it right now and I'm really freaking start crying. I didn't think I would cry. Like, okay, it's okay. So this spring she graduated from college like me, she's my age, and she got diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is a blood cancer. Um, and I remember when Max told me, I literally like curled up in a ball and was like, life is just so unfair. And I was just so upset by it. And you guys know, like, I lost my dad this spring. So I was like, literally, the world is just so unfair. Like, how is this fair? She's 22 and just graduated school like me. Like, she doesn't deserve this. Like, nobody deserves this. But anyway i have debated talking about it for a while now because it's been something that i have been you know so sad about and so upset by and the funniest thing about it all is right as i got to see Ange after i found out she was so happy in the best mood smiling like she is just like the biggest light in anybody's life that knows her and it's just so positive about it all and it really blew me away and I'm like how inappropriate that I'm like crying all the time and so sad about you when you have like the most positive mindset but anyway I just wanted to take a moment to talk about Ange and what she's doing because I like I said I've debated talking about her for a while now on my channel but I didn't want to really like insert myself and um kind of like budge in if like she didn't want me to because obviously it's such a sensitive topic and something that like her and her family is dealing with um she actually gets her chemotherapy treatments here at dina farber in boston so i was able to go with her one time and it was like it's so weird to say that it was fun and we were talking about this after but um max and her boyfriend and Ange and me were all there together and we all got to hang out and just made it go by so much quicker and we're like laughing and like telling stories the whole time so anyway um, what Ange is doing, which I think is so amazing. It's literally the best thing ever She is making these care packages that she is shipping out to other cancer patients and kids that you know Don't have access to these things that helped her so much during her chemotherapy treatments um, And she actually has really good news you guys that she has two more treatments and she will go into remission Which is like literally the best news ever. I literally have chills right now because it's something that has just like made me so i don't know upset happy just like emotional about the whole thing um so basically she has this gofundme i'll have it linked down below if you guys are interested if you want to donate anything helps obviously and she is making all these care packages just i remember the things that helped her the most in her chemotherapy were like blankets fu fuzzy socks beanies like really healthy snacks i remember she has to eat really um healthy food like there's certain things that you can and can't eat when you're going through uh radiation chemotherapy stuff like that so Anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know that the GoFundMe will be linked down below for Anne. She has an Instagram account. I can also link that down below, actually, too. It's called Anne's Army, and she'll show, like, these packages she's sending out to people and just kind of updates, like, share her story, but also other people's stories. So it is literally the most crazy thing and just so inspiring, like, 
she's honestly one of the biggest like inspirations in my life just how she takes this situation and is just so positive about it all and is like I know I'll get through it and I just want to be able to help people and we were texting and she was saying how she just wants to be able to help people because she's like I know you help so many people with your videos so I just really knew that I wanted to include this and yeah if you guys are interested at all go find me link down below like I said anything counts you can see I donated in there and yeah, that would just mean a lot to me and Ange because she is like literally the strongest person I know. But I just want to say that quick. Sorry, I'm like sweaty. Um, just wanted to insert that here. And yeah, now I'm going to go make my smoothie in this vlog. But this was important for us to have this little chat. First thing I'm going to do is make a smoothie and some tea because my throat is killing me. I feel like I've been pushing off being sick for so long now, you guys. And so I just really feel like I need like liquids. You know what I mean? <laughs> Guys, could I have made my smoothie any bigger? Look at this. <laughs> it's like at the brim. I know everyone makes like really fancy smoothies with all these like proteins and antioxidants and stuff and I don't know honestly if I learned I feel like I would do that because it's probably like really good for you to add all these like superfoods and stuff and I definitely have in the past but I feel like then I never know what it's gonna taste like so I literally keep it so basic if you saw what I was doing I do almond milk banana strawberry and sometimes I literally just do strawberry banana smoothie with almond milk um, but then I felt like adding some blueberries and that I know those are good for me they have like antioxidants and I'm trying to stay healthy so that's my smoothie. Um, my tea, I'm going to show you right now. I'm so scared of what it looks like. It's like so dark. It looks like literally pee. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know why I didn't put it in a mug. I don't know why I grabbed a mason jar, but this is what we have going on. And normally I just do this um, ginger tea, but this was a ginger turmeric tea that I found in my cupboard. And I feel like turmeric helps with immunity or something, right? So... This is what we're starting off the day with. Hopefully, they keep me healthy. Then I'm gonna go get ready really quick, just put on some makeup because I have to run out. And I guess I'll just tell you now because this is actually a good moment to tell you. As you can see, this wall is blank above this couch and it's been driving me crazy. I'm like, we need to put something there. I don't know what to put there. We've lived here since June and it is November. Yeah, just let that sink in. It's been really a work in progress and I was just lacking so much direction. And then Taylor's mom when she was here was like, you have to look on Pinterest. And I think Maggie told me you have to look on Pinterest and Brooke too. Cause I was like, I just don't even know what to do. And they're like, well, you have to find inspiration from Pinterest and then find like similar things. So I actually never had a Pinterest before. <laughs> well, like it's 2019 and I didn't even know how to do it. And Brooke helped me make one the other day and like showed me how to do it. <laughs> so I was looking for inspiration and I found these beautiful like neutral prints. I'll show you guys them later. Um, and I bought them on Etsy. They were like $9 to just buy on Etsy and then you download them and then you print them so I honestly thought it would be really cheap but then it cost me like $80 to print them at FedEx because I like blew them up really big and I didn't even measure but hopefully the sizes look good above that couch um and yeah got them printed at FedEx I just got an email that my order is ready so I'm gonna go pick it up after I do my makeup and stuff and then I got to realizing I think I got the 24 by 36 by 38 24 by 36 I think is the size of what it is I might be saying that wrong but anyway it's like big big ones um and a 24 by 36 frame is so expensive so i'm going to go to like target maybe other places michael's bed bath and beyond try to find them um but online to order them was like so expensive and a lot of places wouldn't even let you like ship them and i don't know so <laughs> the plot thickens that's what we're dealing with today and a whole bunch of other things i have packages to ship videos to film suitcases to unpack it's just a busy so now we are going to do a little bit of makeup because look good, feel good, and like I said, I feel like I am fighting off oncoming sickness. So I feel like if I put on some makeup, get all ready for the day, I'm going to feel a lot better, you know? Also, as you can tell, you can literally see the reflection back there. I whipped out my ring light because I feel like lighting in my bathroom is so bad. It's just like light that's cast down and there's like shadows and you can't even see what I'm doing. So hopefully this is better for you guys. We're just going to do some of that. I 
I have like one blemish right now, if you can see. So we're gonna cover that baby up. Just all over my lid. Blending it all together. Now we are doing my favorite. Oh, what just happened? So scared. Just as I said that, the part of my eyelash curler fell out. It's still working, but like not as well because I put in this like pad thing wrong. Yeah, I don't know if that's right, but we're wrong with it. Okay, there is one coat. If you can see, sometimes I get my scare on my eyelids a little bit. It's okay, we're gonna let it dry. I always just like brush it off with a Q-tip at the end. Anyway, now we are going to do some eyebrow gel really quick. Just to fill in the little like sparse areas. I literally will only put like matte lip things like this on you guys because they're the only things that I feel like stay on me like I can't do like um normal like lipstick or anything like that like sometimes I could put like a gloss over but I feel like that wears away and these like stay so well okay I'm realizing I look so scary and like washed out my face is all like one color so we are gonna do some bronzer and blush really quick and then I'll meet you back for my mascara my second coat Pause, side note, I realize that you guys are seeing me take everything down my neck and I feel like that is so important. I did that with my foundation as well because no one ever wants the line right there. I remember everyone having that in my high school, like me included, because I just didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> Go back to our mascara to make this nice and dramatic. On to another coat of mascara. <laughs> People make the funniest mascara faces, I swear. Okay, I literally think I only needed two coats of the mascara because um, I feel like it just made my eyelashes so like voluminous so quickly. I didn't even need a third coat. So that mascara is amazing. And I'm going to check back in in a moment when this dries and I can take it all off my eyelids so you can see the finished look. All right. I think I got all the mascara off my eyelids. I literally cannot tell you how many times I've gone out in public with mascara all over my eyelids because I literally forget that I was going to take it off with a Q-tip and then I never did. But I really did this time. Good for me for remembering. And another thing I want to ask you guys, I was just realizing when I was putting on my mascara, I was thinking about it. Do you guys put mascara on the bottom eyelashes too or just on the top? Because I remember growing up, I would always do top and bottom. But in the past couple of years, I've never done bottom. Like I literally only do top. And I feel like I would feel so funny if I would have them on the bottom. I feel like my eyes would look like spiders. So do you guys do like the top and bottom? Just well, I guess you wouldn't just do the bottom. Do you do the top and the bottom or just the top? I'm curious. But yeah, this is my finished little look for today. I already feel so much like more put together. I'm going to go put on like a real outfit and get my day going. And let's move on with the rest of the day and be very productive since there is a lot to do. <laughs> All right, maybe this lighting is better. It's more of like a natural lighting if you can see everything. Sorry, I like go ham with the bronzer and the blush, but that's how I like it. Um, also, this is going to be so hard to admit right now because it's really bad. I don't even want to show you, but like we all start somewhere and organization is something that's so important. Um, I'm going to go pick up those prints like I told you guys about and try to find frames, but also I'm going to try to make it to the container store because I really need help with organization and I'm going to show you what I'm working with right now and why I really need some like drawers or trays or something and just some time to organize everything because this has been literally like when you're not organized and when you're messy I feel like your mind is messy and also cluttered and you're just like stressed by it so I'm making this a priority a priority today okay my closet 
<laughs> like what am I doing with my hair dryer? Is my hair dryer curling iron? I don't know. Needs some help, but what really needs the most help is the like what? Gretchen, are you kidding? Guys, this is so embarrassing to admit that. Yeah. Yeah, that's the before. I need I need some help. I feel like I just gave you a quick overview. But like, can you see like how bad this is? Okay. Well, enough about that. Um, another thing that's bad. Okay, like I always try to keep my closet clean. Clearly, there's like some issues. Uh, could be worse, but like also not great. Over here is what's really bad because this is my section. And <laughs> when Max was living here over the summer, this was his, and I've kind of moved into his. Also, I like shoved random stuff up there, and the worst, I literally can't even show you on the ground. Like we're just gonna look really quick and then get over it. You guys, what? Like that is so bad. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm tackling all the challenging things in my life and we're gonna get through it. <laughs> oh gosh, I also forgot about this. This I need to do right now too. I'm struggling, this is what happens when you go away. Oh, also I got changed. I just put on this nice little blue sweatshirt, leggings, Ugg boots, cause now it's cold enough that I'm allowed to wear Ugg boots. Yeah, oh my gosh, there's the Pedialyte packets I was looking for. Those help me too when I'm feeling like dehydrated and like sick and stuff. And I have some of my extra vitamins in there. Which is reminding me I need to take my vitamins right now too because the vitamin C will help me um, keep away my sickness. Got my pills. Well, I shouldn't say it like that. My vitamins. <laughs> I know I've talked about them a million times, but I have a um, vitamin C in there, probiotic, Biotin, like B complex type thing, and fish oil. Um, this is gonna. Everyone, <laughs> say a prayer for my immune system. Okay, we're gonna make moves. I finished unpacking my suitcases. I was gonna do a montage, but I feel like I always do that because I'm always traveling, and so you guys know what that looks like. Um, pro tip is if you are somewhere on vacation, I forget where I heard this before. I heard this from someone, so I'm not taking credit, but if you are somewhere, on vacation like visiting your cousin for example and she has a washer and dryer in her apartment like me where I just was um, I just did so much of my laundry before I came home so all the laundry that was in my suitcase was clean and I literally just have to put it away and then I don't even have to worry about doing laundry so I feel like that makes unpacking way less stressful too and yeah it's just like optimizing your life and your time so would recommend if you're somewhere on vacation where you can't do laundry, coming home with clean clothes is a lot less stressful than coming home with dirty clothes. Guys, it feels so good to be back in Coco. I've missed her so bad. And here starts the craziness of all. These errands I have to do, I like mapped it out because it's kind of all over and around Boston. And first I'm going to go pick up the prints from the FedEx print center like I told you about and I'm realizing I didn't measure anything out and I think they're gonna be massive and take up the whole wall but we're gonna figure it out and like finding frames that are that big is gonna be really difficult but I looked it up and I think they have them at Michaels and the only Michaels nearby is in Cambridge which is like a half an hour okay so what I'm doing first we're gonna go to FedEx pick up the prints then we are gonna go to the container store in Newton because that's where the container store is the closest one um and get some organization for my bathroom because you guys saw I've been meaning to do that for so long I just need some like acrylic drawers to figure out my situation and then I will find a USPS like post office nearby because I have something I have to ship and then I'm gonna have to drive all the way to Cambridge, which is gonna take me like a half an hour to find frames, and then it'll probably take me another half an hour to get home. <laughs> and yeah, let's get going so we avoid rush out. Hey, you guys, I got the prints. They're all rolled up. In my mind, I think I got 24 by 36, but they don't look that big rolled up. They look cute though. I can't wait for you guys to see. A little suspense, since you can't see what it looks like right now. And my phone says Waze. Waze is my favorite, by the way. If you don't use Waze, like, what are you doing? Waze is, like, the best GPS. It tells me that it's going to take me 23 minutes to get to the container store. So, let's get it. Continuing on with our... Made it. I feel like it took for... 
it felt like it took forever for me to drive here um but i was listening to gals on the go shout out brooke and danielle i love you guys i was listening to their first monday episode they're now posting on mondays too as well as their normal wednesdays just like shorter ones called the happening and I think that's what they're calling their that like little segment and they're just being so funny It's like so conversational. I feel like I'm on the phone with them. They're being really funny. Um, it also started raining boo As you can tell but yeah, I've been in this container store before and it's cool because I'm parked under this like overpass thing So I won't get all rained on if anything can help me get my stuff organized I feel like it's a container store. So wish me luck <laughs> Okay, I didn't realize how lost I would be feeling in here, you guys. I have like big um, cabinets in my bathroom, as you saw. So I feel like I need big drawers like this, but they're literally $32 a piece. So I'm like, what the heck is going on? Like, I don't know. I feel like I'm just gonna try to get a bunch of stuff and then whatever I use, I use and whatever I don't use, I like return kind of thing. But I didn't know it was gonna be this difficult. Like I knew it was, this place is just like, there's so much stuff, so we will see how it goes. Okay, this is what we're going with. Four of those that like stack on top of each other. Three of these like bigger, bad boy, expensive ones. Hopefully this is good, and then I just got this little one. I literally don't know what I'm doing. Please help, I'm struggling. Okay, now I'm feeling extra lost because there's like shoe storage, but these drawers are bigger, which is kind of what I was looking for, and I feel like they would fit. But I didn't measure, so I don't know. <laughs> Guys, help. Okay, we're going with these. Cross your fingers, they fit. Because my thinking is my um, like cupboards are so deep that I feel like these will work. So cross your finger. You guys, I don't know how I just carried all of these. I just spent way too much money on all these freaking drawers. So hopefully they fit. And all I need to say is I'm so grateful that my car, if you just like stick your foot under the trunk, if you have the keys, it opens up. Because I had no hands to open up my car. Okay. Post office, Michaels. We are running out of time because that took me so We made it to Michaels, everyone. You can probably hear the rain on the roof. It's literally pouring out. But I am so excited right now because the two prints I got are 24 by 36. I'm hoping, I'm like pretty sure. Um, and I looked up to see if Michaels had this in stock and it said yes, but I didn't check if there was two and thank God there's exactly two because I need two and I'm so happy. They're gonna look so cute above our couch and I think white is the way to go. They have like brown, I don't even know, like this color. Actually, this might go with the wood in our apartment but I feel like white will be good. I know I could do black. I think they have like other size of black ones but I'm so excited. It is literally pouring. Do you see the water dripping down my face? Oh, I'm just so happy that I did all the things I needed to do and I don't even want to look amazed right now for how long it's been taking me to get home. And what's funny is I've lived in Boston for four years and like I could definitely get myself home right now if I had to. Um, actually, fun fact, I'm in Needham right now. Yes, I am so far away <laughs> from where I live. But basically, the Michaels and Edom ended up being closer to where I was than the one in Cambridge because there was so much traffic. But yeah, what I was going to say is, it's funny as I've lived here for so long, but I always use ways because it'll take you like the most roundabout, like weird ways, but it always gets you there quicker. So I'm going to put in my address. Let's see. It's going to say 30 minutes. I know it is. I don't want to sit in the car for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Let's get it. Guys, look who it is. <laughs> this is so funny. I literally pulled in, and I'm trying not to show Taylor's like license plate, but Taylor's and my parking spots are like in front of another, in front of each other in the parking garage. So she pulled in right after me. Isn't that cute of us? <laughs> I know I've missed you. And this way Taylor can help me get all of the things upstairs because I got so much stuff. Aww, what's happened while I've been gone? What's new? Oh, wow. These are good. They're, they're going to be huge, but they're going to look, look good because yeah. it'll take up all this space. <laughs> Taylor feels under the weather again. No, I'm not. But, um, not the same sick as last time. And she's not really sick. No, she just feels, like, drained. Very tired. And we have, like, no food in our apartment, so we're going to go, go to Whole Foods. But first, let's see... How our prints turned out, and I'm getting really nervous that I didn't buy the right size frame. <laughs> they look really big for the print. Oh wait, no, the print looks good. I think they are the right size. Ooh, cute, right? Five by nine. 
Okay, these are gonna be so good. I literally found them on Pinterest. Your mom was like stretching us look on Pinterest and Brooke told me and Maggie told me and look at it. Like they're very similar but like a little different. Right? Oh yeah. Are they a little different? What is it a picture of? I don't know. <laughs> it's like neutral, uh, it's like watercolor, hard. like paint. Yeah. Maybe. It's pretty. Okay, I'm so excited to get these on the wall. See, they had to be this big. Yeah. They, they couldn't have been like any smaller. Great. How are we gonna hang them? I want them to cover those ugly things right there, which I don't know if that would look dumb, but I hate that. I want one to cover the nest too, but we can't do that because <laughs> we need to be able to access it. Okay, small problem, you guys, but like crisis averted. I don't know why. I just checked too. On FedEx, I printed these um, 24 by 36 inches, and that's what these frames say. And they don't go all the way to the corners. And so luckily it came with like a white sheet um, on the inside of the frame that I just turned around. And so there's like a white border around it, which you like definitely won't be able to notice when they're up. Hopefully, maybe now that I told you, that's all that you'll notice. But <laughs> like, ugh. it's okay though. We're making it work because I'm not about to go like return them and try to find other frames or something. Like, yeah, okay, I'm feeling better about our living room, family room, whatever you call it already. This is like so perfect. It even goes with the blanket you're <laughs> wearing. <laughs> okay, now I just gotta figure out how to hang them up. And good thing that, well, I don't think we could go any bigger. And good thing we didn't go any smaller because I feel like any smaller would look yeah. dumb. Honestly, they could be bigger, but I feel like they'll be good. <laughs> Yay, I'm so happy. I feel so much better that we did this. And what do you guys think? They're like really glary right now with all the lights. Um, and I was reading the reviews of these picture frames saying that it was like fake glass. So they look more shiny but cute. And they cover the weird thing over there. We leveled them out. I think they're a good Thank distance you. from each other and over the couch. <laughs> Someone's going to roast us and be like, they're not centered on the wall. They're crooked. La 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 la. But we did the best we could. I'm proud. I think they look great. Oh, it looks so weird and different. I'm not used to it. We'll get used to it though. <laughs> what do you guys think? Also you guys, I'm really happy I didn't. <laughs> this is so funny. Imagine me trying to like drill screws into the wall. Like what would I be doing? Like no, I'm really happy that I opted against that and we found some of these command strips. And what's funny is it literally, hello. It literally says on here up to 24 by 36 frame and that's what our frames were. So cross your fingers that they actually Hold them up like they say they will. You guys, I'm literally a genius. Well, not to mention, I just figured out how to hang up those paintings. Really proud of myself. But these drawers are going to fit perfect. I got the perfect amount. I'm so happy. Okay, so obviously it's a big fat mess. But my idea was the bottom one and the top one, I would like store things. And maybe these like bins I already have. I don't really know. And then these three, I knew I wanted to have acrylic drawers. And I think they're all the same space, hopefully. Um... Basically, I thought three of these would fit on top of each other, and they don't. Only two do. But it works out really well because I have this for one of the three sections, this for one of the three th sections, and then this one. So they're all a little different and can hold different things. And we are just going to have a big organizing party. But first, it is getting so late. Me and Taylor are starving. So we are going to go run to Whole Foods, eat, and grocery shop. And then I'll be back the organizing we've all been waiting for also you guys i meant to show you earlier look what came in the mail so max thought it came like in a um frame but it didn't so that just made me realize i should have got a frame for earlier when i got the other frames but that's okay and so it basically came all rolled up so i need to like flatten it out but a lot of you guys actually guess that this is what it was this is my present for our one year anniversary and it says the best day of my life i love you bubba and Boston, Massachusetts, and then just the coordinates, 21st of October, 2018, which is the day we started dating, and this was like the stars and the moon on that day, and yeah, I gave you guys a hint when I opened a card from him that was like stars, like constellation, and everyone was like, oh, it was definitely this that he got her for the one year anniversary, and this is what it is, so I think it's so cute. I literally cried when he showed it to me on his phone and said that he wanted to order it because I thought it was like the cutest thing ever, so gotta get a frame for it and then I will hang yeah. them. I'm at Sweet Green, getting the hummus tahina bowl. No feta because I don't like that. I'm so excited, you guys. It is 4.45, Taylor just went to Whole Foods to get a bowl and she's meeting me back here. It literally feels like 8 p.m. We are so <laughs> freaking tired. No, <laughs> I probably do. Taylor says she has stuff in the table. 
I probably do. But we just ate our food. And it's so, I swear it's daylight savings time. It's so bad. It is 5, 18 p.m. Pitch dark out. And it feels like literally bedtime. Um, Natty B posted something so funny. Oh. Other story, I was just thinking that. And it was like, it's so true. no one, everyone ever. When it's 5 p.m. and it literally feels like midnight or whatever. <laughs> what does that mean? What? I don't get that. There's literally no one. Whenever, knows. like, it's always like no one saying anything. Like, people will always say no one. Gretchen, I'm going to make cinnamon rolls. Yeah, I don't like, get it. I don't get it. Like, no one asks, but you're always, like, it's something that, like, everybody oh. says. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know why that became a thing. <laughs> Explaining to Taylor, like, pop culture. <laughs> grocery highlights from our trip well of course okay actually funny story wasn't even gonna buy my favorite cinnamon rolls I need to remember the brand to tell you guys immaculate because I always forget and I'm like maybe it's Annie's it's immaculate they look like this and I wasn't even gonna get them but then they have them right by the registers when you check out I was like okay that was a sign from God himself that I need them so got those and these are all our yummy little snacks that are like kind of healthy-ish. These I've never had before and I was completely influenced by Gals on the Go. Where did you hear of them, Tay Tay? Um, on Instagram. Peach rings. I heard about them the same place that I heard about these from. And they're so good. Oh wait, I never even heard about these. Um, I just always get these chocolate bars and they're so good. Um, and we saw that they have, these we saw near the chocolate bars today and Taylor was like, we have to try those out. So at those, these my parents actually got me and Lucy a while ago and you too, right? Oh yeah. I don't even remember when they got us these so, for like some occasion. We ate those on the flight to Miami. Yeah, they gave us like bags of these and they're actually vegan and they're the yummiest little caramels and they're made with coconut milk. So Taylor can have them. We love those. Crunchy mint, like I said, this is like another vegan chocolate bar that Taylor likes. And yeah, don't worry, we also got like broccoli and avocados and like fruits and vegetables. I got some chicken. Got my yogurt that I called soy yogurt for the longest time and it's coconut milk yogurt. Um, what else did we get? Well, my favorite pasta sauce. Shout out Liv Manny because Liv made me pasta once with this pasta sauce. It was the best thing ever. Actually, she made me it with the garlic one, but normally I get tomato basil because I really like tomato basil. Um, what else? I already had hummus, egg. Oh, I got more Ezekiel. Ezekiel, the orange kind, is my favorite kind of bread. Grocery haul. This video is just going to be an everything video. It's probably very long, but it's okay. Um, I also got this FOMU ice cream because I was like, I really want ice cream. Max keeps Snapchatting me with this like Reese cup ice cream and it looks so good. Um, but I was like, I really don't want one that's gonna make my stomach hurt. And yeah, FOMU is just this like ice cream place in Boston that has vegan ice cream. It's made with coconut milk, right? Yeah. Um, so it's like so rich and creamy and yummy. And I would always get the chocolate pudding one with the peanut butter one. They didn't have peanut butter, so I just got the chocolate pudding one. But I'm excited to have that. You could tell I was hungry when I was grocery shopping, even though I had sweet cream before. Like I'm totally gonna eat again. But for now, we're eating these smart sweets. I cannot believe it is not even 6 p.m. Like, I literally can't believe it. Okay, let's try the hunk. So good. Working Danielle. Shout out. Chocolate covered hunks almond sea salt. Is it just like those chocolate covered almonds you get? Yeah, from fine. Trader Joe's. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. They look like chocolate covered almonds. My goal is to go to this place in here. Oh my god. What? Right? So good. Yeah, Taylor was telling me that. Who kitchen is like a thing. So do they just make like all um, vegan good meals? Yeah. That is so good. I love those. Oh, oh my god, I love that I can vlog here now without a really ugly um what's it called? Wow. Electric like plug right there. Because I always hated that I was that I would vlog and you would see that plug. And now you just see these cute little prints I found on Etsy. Let's party. I got a little b-roll, but this is just gonna be an undertaking, so this is before. <laughs> hey guys, are you ready? Extreme transformation. Here we go. 
look at how much better it looks like are you kidding me I was just showing Taylor but honestly in hindsight I probably would have gotten colored ones because then you just see all the products like flying around in there which probably isn't necessary um, but it works for my purposes I really like the way it turned out they fit perfectly because I knew how deep my little shelves were um, and see they fit like width wise as well and disclaimer if I'm being honest I didn't touch the top or the bottom shelf because those are really bad um, I'm gonna deal with that later updates to come gotta leave some mystery right but I am really proud of myself because it took me a little while and in case you're wondering I have like a bunch of new shampoo conditioner like hair stuff in there like literally so much um, did not know I had that many new shampoos and conditioners laying around this is a bunch of new like body stuff like deodorant um, this is even more hair stuff like dry shampoos heat protectants masks stuff like that um this is like my little travel section i have all my travel size stuff and i don't know why this bag is in here i should put it in there with all of these bags for travel um then these just fit perfect up here i have like makeup remover my little travel q-tips um chapstick face oil stuff if you guys have any recommendations let me know but i am proud of myself i'm trying my best okay then up here i have like some face wash um exfoliator stuff honestly this is confusing because oh my god i told you we just are not doing <laughs> we're not doing the closet today but um it's confusing because i also have a lot of more skin and makeup it stuff in here so I got to figure out like my plan for that and if I'm going to keep some in there and some in here because it's kind of everywhere um, but yeah because what I was saying is wait we're up here yeah so this is like some face wash and um, exfoliators and stuff this is a bunch of like moisturizers like the summer Fridays um, jet lag mask and then like a Copari thing Oh, okay. <clears throat> so my new makeup I just showed you guys from Tarte earlier is in there. Um, more like face masks and stuff like that. Other skincare stuff is in there. This um, detangler I use in my hair every day when I get out of the shower. When my hair is wet. A heat protectant. A dry bar dry shampoo. Um, this is more makeup. Hair brushes. So yeah. Whew. I'm really happy these fit and I'm a lot less stressed and I'm so happy this is done. Just a little, a little more to come. And you guys saw the closet situation earlier and I need to put away my suitcase because I finished unpacking earlier. <laughs> but I'm just proud of what I have got done today because it's been a lot. And I need to freaking like shower and go to bed. This daily savings time thing is really like throwing me off. Um, honestly, oh wait, one last thing before I end up the vlog. Okay, last thing before the conclusion of the vlog. I know I've had so much to show you guys today, but it's because I just got back, like I said. So, I ordered a package from Aritzia a while ago, and it came in the last week while I was away. One of my favorite things about Aritzia, too, is how they don't use, like, more packaging than you need. Like, everything's just folded up inside one thing. Like, it's, like, less wasteful, I feel like. They're a pretty sustainable company. So, anyway, let's show you what I got. First, I got this long sleeve cropped like ribbed shirt you just like they have really good basic stuff that's like such good quality oh this i'm so excited for look how fun oh, this is fun. just like big and cozy and like so cute like i feel like i would travel in this with like leggings or like whatever it's cute it's a bit cozy it reminds me of the soul cycle okay so after that i got tie-dye is like so in honestly i think like it has been in like all summer so everyone's been crazy about tie-dye i don't know if it like is anymore oh and then i also got it just in a gray like a long sleeve gray simple t-shirt because I have so many gray hoodies, sweatshirts, t-shirts, but they all have like words on them like brown or BU or rowing or hockey or whatever. But I got, wait, these are the same, but like long sleeve shirt and sweatshirt. Last thing I got was just like this gray long sleeve shirt. It's just a gray long sleeve sweatshirt. And I know, oh, I'm so excited. I got this in the same style as, you know, the pink one that I wear like every day because it's so cozy from Aritzia, that like bright pink one. I got it in gray because I wear gray every day because gray is a comfiest color um, as I'm wearing blue right now. <laughs> but gray literally is a comfiest color and I always wear it in pink because this is just like the best cut. Like it's so oversized. Like I kind of feel like a marshmallow but still cute because it's so comfortable. And I want to say, yeah, this is an oversized crew and I get them in a size two. So that's like, they have size one, two, three. 
isn't that weird for oversized stuff so this would probably be like a medium i guess like small medium large but i'm so excited for all of that just a couple basics wait honestly i think something's missing or maybe i ordered the wrong thing i think i got this in short sleeve unless i made that up in my head i think i also did get this in short sleeve maybe it's coming separate anyway that's what i got from ritzia um whoa it just got so out of focus okay i hope that this vlog inspired you to fix the blank walls in your apartment and get some decor or organize your bathroom or <coughs> take care of your sick roommate or do something i hope this vlog inspired you because today's been a long day so i'm gonna end this off here thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video